My favorite songwriter is Mike Cooley from the Drive-By Truckers, hands down. And in his song, English Oceans, he wrote, Only simple men can see the logic in whatever that smarter men can whittle down till you can fit it on a sticker. Get it stuck like mud and bugs to names that set the standard. They'll live it like it's gospel and they'll quote it like it's scripture. There may not have been a truer lyric ever written in this world. Because where I live, I am constantly surrounded by people whose cars is just loaded down with bumper stickers with some of the most ridiculous and harebrained quotes on it I've ever heard in my life. Flags flying off boats, everybody just so proud of their idiocy. I see it everywhere I go. It's like, I swear, I feel like I'm on the movie Forrest Gump where he's running and the guy comes up and is like, hey man, you just run through a pile of dog shit. And he goes, it happens. What? Shit sometimes. And then you see the truck hit and it's got the shit happens bumper sticker. I swear that dude had to be a Republican. Because they will take any line they can, they'll whittle it down, they'll stick it on a sticker, and they'll sell it back to their gullible voters, and their gullible voters will be proud to have got, look what I got! Look what I got put on my truck! And it absolutely blows my mind. But my favorite one that they say uh, is whenever they go, go woke, go broke. They're so proud of their self because they was able to make that one rhyme. They're just so proud of that one. And... It's one of those things where, okay, go work, go broke. They'll show you, they'll say, look here at this company, it lost shareholders. Look here at this company, it lost a lot of money. Look here at this store where nobody won't shop no more. Look here, there ain't nobody buying that beer anymore. Check it out. They went woke, they went broke. Okay, let me just let me just say this. Let's say you're right. Let's say that a company stood up for the gay and trans community. Now let's just say they went fucking bottoms up broke. That was it. End of story. They were done. You never heard from them again. They still were right. They still stood up for the right thing. If you have a company over here that stands up for people of color or, or stands up against violence or whatever they do, whatever it is that you guys demonize as being woke, whatever the fuck it is, if they make that stand because that's what they truly believe in and because they wanted to raise awareness on this issue and let's just say they go fucking bottoms up, it doesn't mean they were wrong about it. It doesn't mean that the stance they took was wrong just because the masses didn't buy into it. So the whole idea is, is ridiculous to me. I'm of the belief that you stand up for what you believe in and you just take it on the chin wherever it comes. I was a musician for 25 years in East Tennessee, Southeast Kentucky. That's, that's, that's where I performed my music. So when I started writing the political satire that I write today, I knew for a fact, before I even started, that there's no way that I could ever go into those places and do this. <laughs> I knew that. I've never one time said, oh, they canceled me, or oh, they silenced me, or oh, they took away my First Amendment. I've just said, hey, this is the hill I'm willing to die on. I don't give a shit if I ever play your bar again. I don't give a shit if I'm ever at your festival again. I want to say what I want to say because I believe in it. If I go broke, so be it. It's, it's what I fucking believe. So it's not as clever as you think it is the only smart guy in the room was the guy that figured out how to whittle it down, put it on a sticker, and sell it to your stupid ass.